This is Accra, but then it could be any major city in sub-Saharan Africa. Waste is generally dumped without any appropriate treatment. 90% of all collected excreta is directly discharged into the ocean. The case of liquid waste is particularly striking. The total generation of waste in the Accra metropolis is estimated to be about 800 tons per day. Thinking about the alternative to this serious environmental degradation has influenced a much needed solution with considerable market potential. Developing fertilizer pellets from human excreta. And there is of course so much organic waste about to add to this unique process. A project initiated by the International Water Management Institute. We have worked on it for about 10 years. We have realized that there is huge potential to use a sludge that is kept at household and in public toilets and also to use some solid waste, organic part of the solid waste and produce fertilizer materials. Very good for agricultural purposes. Mr. Nba is the director of Tema Metropolitan Assembly's Waste Management Department and responsible for the city's septic treatment facility. This receives liquid waste from across the capital and nearby towns. We treat the liquid waste by oxidation we have incorporated into that plant a facility for converting some of this material into compost. Unfortunately, the treatment plant to make this work is not functioning. The facility is in disrepair. We are currently rehabilitating this facility. The good news is that with the collaboration of the International Water Management Institute and partners, some of the dredge is dried, bagged and sent to a composting site at the Biological and Nuclear Agricultural Research Institute in Accra. Where we are now is a composting plant where we compost organic waste into fertilizer that we apply to crops. Within this project, three types of composites are produced. Ficus sludge only, then the water ficus sludge plus sawdust, and the water ficus sludge plus market waste. We break the lamps into smaller particles, then we form the heaps, add the required volume of water to the heap, then we turn at regular intervals, monitoring the temperature and the moisture content. When the composite is ready, the next critical process starts. The first machine here is the grinding machine and what it does basically is to reduce the particle size of the compost. Water and binding materials such as starch and clay are added to the grinded compost. The mixture then goes to the machine that produces the fertilizer pellets. And here are the dry pellets ready for use as manure. The pelletization is what really makes the, this project unique. There are clear advantages producing dried pellets. Reduction of volume and release of nutrients into the soil at the right pace. Pellets also minimize loss of nutrients in the soil and reduce transport costs. We are conducting some market analysis on the pellets and already we can see that there is a, a great potential for these pellets in different areas in Ghana. Um, we have identified farmers who are interested in testing this product, in using it in their, in their farms, and uh, we hope to be able to take it further in the next phase of this project. Previously, we had produced fertilizer materials that have also been enriched with some inorganic form of fertilizers. But this particular initiative is taking it a step further to enhance its marketability. It is really good to use than uh, chemical fertilizers. Peter and his colleagues are vegetable farmers with farms on the outskirts of the capital and they are keen on the fertilizer pellets. It's better and safe cost for me as a farmer. Chemical fertilizer can always supply nutrients. It cannot supply organic matter. We normally grow vegetables here like lettuce, onions, green pepper and carrots. Our product has the components of both organic and inorganic uh, materials that support plant growth. Actually, the compost is really good for those vegetables. The objectives are two foods. First of all, we're trying to contribute to the reduction in um, environmental risk associated with 
the disposal of fecal sludge in the environment. Because of the lack of treatment facilities, most of the excreta that are generated in the household are just discharged in the environment. And this excreta contains resources that can be used in agriculture. Business depends on the end user. So we know that there are already places where people need it. So we start from there and gradually we expand to areas where it is not yet known. When people know that it works, definitely they will want more of it. We know that in the northern part of Ghana, some people are using human excreta without much treatment. But what we are trying to do now is to develop a marketable product from this waste, converting waste into compost for use of in the agricultural sector. It's something I would encourage. In many developing countries, waste is abundant and presents a major environmental challenge. Turning this challenge into opportunity, this project symbolizes an innovative solution towards environmental sustainability, as well as a boost to agriculture, food security, and livelihoods. <laughs>